Did you ever think about what a cigarette really is? A cigarette is a paper tube filled with dried tobacco. When lit, the cigarette smoke delivers a dangerous drug called nicotine into the smoker's body. Like all drugs, the nicotine in tobacco changes the way your body and brain work. Let's talk more about tobacco. Tobacco is a plant that is grown in many places around the world. After tobacco is harvested, it is dried and mixed with other substances. It is then rolled into cigarettes or made into other tobacco products. Some people smoke tobacco in cigarettes. Some people smoke tobacco in cigars and pipes. Some people chew tobacco. They don't swallow it, they spit it out. Using tobacco is legal for people 18 years and older. Legal doesn't mean it's safe. It's against the law for people under the age of 18. Why? It's because tobacco products are very harmful, especially to kids. Tobacco contains many harmful chemicals, a dangerous drug called nicotine. Nicotine is a compound used in bug spray. Tobacco also contains other toxins or poisons like tar. It's the same tar used to pave roads. There is carbon monoxide, the same compound that comes out of a car's exhaust pipe, and methanol, a chemical used in rocket fuel. There are over 7,000 harmful substances in tobacco smoke. When the toxins enter a smoker's body, they begin to change how the brain and body work in a very unhealthy way. Everything about tobacco and nicotine is bad for you. Today, some people don't smoke tobacco cigarettes. Instead, they smoke e-cigarettes. It's called vaping. The lungs don't get filled with harmful tobacco smoke, but nicotine is still absorbed by your lungs. The nicotine still damages your brain, your lungs, and your heart. Other tobacco smoking products include cigars, which is tobacco wrapped in a tobacco leaf. Scars are not safe. When a person smokes a cigarette, the smoke immediately affects the respiratory system, from the nose and sinuses down to the smallest airways in the lungs. Smoke irritates the throat. It becomes dry, red, and inflamed, causing pain and burning. The smoke-carrying tar, nicotine, carbon monoxide, and other harmful substances move down the throat and into the lungs. The smoker blows the smoke out, but the harmful chemicals stay in the lungs. Smokers find it more difficult to breathe and they develop a persistent cough. Coughing is the way your body gets rid of irritating substances in your lungs. Smoking is harmful to the cardiovascular system, including the heart and arteries. As soon as nicotine enters the bloodstream, it causes the arteries to constrict or get smaller. The carbon monoxide reduces the amount of oxygen the blood can carry. Your blood pressure goes up and the heart is forced to work faster and that damages your heart. The nicotine in tobacco also changes the way the brain works. Our brains are made up of billions of nerve cells that communicate by releasing chemical messengers. Nicotine causes major changes in the flow of feel-good chemicals. Those changes affect how you feel. Smoking cigarettes and using tobacco products negatively affects other parts of the body too. Smoking decreases the body's ability to fight infection. It weakens the immune system and makes it easier for a person to get sick. In addition, smoking causes halitosis. Halitosis is just a fancy word for bad breath. Smoking immediately makes people and everything around them smell bad. Bad breath, smelly hair, and smelly clothes, and yellowish brown teeth. Some smokers develop a condition called black hairy tongue. Over time, smoking damages your health. Tobacco use can cause cancer in many parts of your body. A lifetime of smoking especially harms your lungs. This is what a healthy lung looks like. It's pink. And this is what a smoker's lung looks like. It's filled with tar and other substances that have turned the lung black. Smoking causes severe respiratory or breathing problems, which includes chronic bronchitis and emphysema. Over time, many smokers develop heart disease, heart attack, or have a stroke. Smoking is very unhealthy for both the smoker and people who are around people who smoke. It's called secondhand smoke and it causes numerous health problems in infants and children. 
severe and frequent asthma attacks, as well as respiratory and ear infections. People also use smokeless tobacco. They put the tobacco in their mouth or chew it. In the mouth, the tar and nicotine is absorbed and enters the bloodstream. It can make you feel dizzy and nauseated. In just a short time, chewing tobacco begins to have bad side effects like bad breath, gum disease, teeth stains, mouth sores, cavities, and mouth ulcers. Over time, using chewing tobacco can cause cancer of the lips, the mouth, the cheek, or the throat. A person can die from any of these cancers. Most kids, teens, and adults know and understand that smoking and using any kind of tobacco product is bad for your health. So why do people smoke? Why do kids begin to smoke or chew tobacco? And then, why don't they stop? Think about this. 3,900 kids, 12 to 17 years old, start smoking. Most kids start smoking because they know someone like a parent or friend that smokes. We all want to fit in and be part of a group. Sometimes, it's this feeling of wanting to belong that gets kids smoking. Other kids begin to smoke to show they're grown up and can make adult decisions. Some try it just to do something dangerous and do something adults don't want them to do. The dangerous thing about starting to smoke is the difficulty in trying to stop. Nicotine, like many other drugs, is very, very addictive. People become addicted to nicotine. Addicted means a person's brain and body get used to the drug and they need the drug to feel normal. The nicotine in tobacco causes people to be addicted to smoking. They can't stop. Some people become addicted to a drug very quickly. Some take longer. But it's important to know that it's easier for kids and teenagers to become addicted. They can become hooked on tobacco faster and after just a few cigarettes. Lots of people experiment with tobacco and other substances at some time in their lives because they're curious. That's why there are over one billion smokers in the world. People try it, but they can't stop. The daily lives of kids who are addicted to nicotine are ruled and controlled by tobacco and their need to make their brain feel normal. The other problem is the cost of tobacco. When you have to pay for cigarettes, you can't afford to pay for other things you really want. It also affects friendships. So, is it worth trying? If someone asks you to smoke, you can simply say no. You can also say, it will make my clothes and breath stink, or I think it will make me look stupid. And if they don't respect your reasons for not smoking, just walk away. 70% of teen smokers say they never would have started if they could choose again. You know the truth about using tobacco, so why even start? Smokers smell bad, look bad, and feel bad, and it's bad for everyone's health. So, now that we've talked about tobacco, what's your decision going to be? Will you be a smoker or non-smoker? Consider the facts and then make the choice that is right for you.